Okay, there is something special about the corner of the smile. <clears throat> okay, as I mentioned, uh, this uh, when when making this design of a, a bath bench, you can do so in a way where you don't waste any wood at all, or, or too, you don't waste too much. There's you know might be a piece here or there, but most every piece of wood you may be able to utilize this way. If you cut it this way, you know, these are these are like this, but then you turn this upward and then put them together. Okay, now when you're drawing the smiley face on the piece of wood, it is important to draw them uh, in such a way that has a perfect nature. It has a perfect physiology. So you, you want to design a piece of furniture that has a perfect physiology. You don't want to design a chair even that's going to collapse. You, know, you want to know things about physiology and do so with perfect physiology. That way, you, you know, you, you design a bath bench. You have a bath bench that you're not going to slip into your tub in. You know, it's going to be perfect uh, to, to be in your tub. What you need to do when drawing the smiley face is that this part of the smile, this part, the upper lip, is a perfect level. This is at the same level as the bottom of the smile here. And you draw a line, there's this right there. These points are at the same level. So you don't want this to be lower, you don't want it to be higher, you want it to be the same level as the corner of the bottom of the corner of the smile and you have to cut the corner of the smile such that this is flat because these parts of the smile are going to sit on the edge of your tub here you could draw a tub like this there's your tub and it fits in the tub but in order for it to remain uh, what you call it, it's going to remain sitting perfect in your, you know, on your tub, and you could sit on it, and it's not going to fall. You're not going to fall off, and it itself is not going to slip into the tub. You need this perfect physiological feature, a part of the carving of the wood. This point of the smile needs to be at level of the the bottom of the corner of the smile. There is a natural reason why this uh, design. When, when we're finished carving it out, it is an interlocking, these are interlocking pieces of wood that you put together. So you, you, uh, you know, turn each of these upward, these are on their side, and then you turn each of them upward, and then you put them together. Once you're finished carving them, they're, they're going to interlock together. And you do not need any nails, you do not need any screws, you do not need any glue, okay? This bath bench design does not, is, it has a perfect physiology where you can put it together and it interlocks together and you don't need to use any nails, screws, or glue, okay? When considering the Ark of the Covenant, the Ark of the Covenant is, is made in such a way. It is made of different pieces of wood that interlock together. It's a perfect box that interlocks together, and you do not need any nails, you do not need any screws, you do not need any glue. That is how the Ark of the Covenant is. It is a, a box of interlocked pieces of wood with perfect physiology. Okay, so that reflects human intellect. You know, you're doing things that are good for your mind. That the Ark of the Covenant has this reflection, and you know it, it reflects things that are good for our minds. Its very design has a nature. I'm going to put it on pause. Okay, so uh, you know I have these laying on the side, and you, you kind of put them upward, and then you have to carve it a little bit more, but they uh, fit together. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what you have to do is, with the corner of the smile, is that you have to uh, carve a little bit more. See here, you leave a piece of wood that is one-eighth of an inch 
wide, one eighth of an inch high, and one eighth of an inch long. Breadth width depth. See, this is a, uh, here this is a two, okay, it's two and a quarter, this, this here is two and a quarter uh, inches long. Two, two and a quarter inches long, and this measure from here to here is one and one eighth inch long, and this is also is one eighth and one, this is one inch and one eighth inch of an inch long. One and one eighth inch long, one and one eighth inch long. This here is double that. This is one and one inch, one and one eighth inch to the halfway point, and then another one and one eighth inch long. This this totals two inches, two and a quarter inches. Okay. So there you have to carve out one and one eighth thick a piece of wood like this. You have to kind of carve it out so it leaves this little corner here. See, and then on the other side you have to do the same thing. You have to do the opposite. You have to, see, we just did this to this top side. To the top side, you know, to this side we, we cut out and leaving only this part of the wood here. This we don't carve out at all. This we leave here, but this we carve out one eighth of an inch. Then on the opposite corner right there, we have to do the opposite thing. We have to carve out a female end. Here we've carved out a male end, and here we have to carve out a female end. We, we carve out one eighth of an inch deep, one eighth inch of uh, one eighth of an inch wide, and one eighth of an inch long. That is so that the male ends can fit in with the female ends, okay? And they interlock together. <clears throat> okay, so uh, here, you know, I drawn, drew something a little bit more to scale. You know, this is, okay. Once you carve this one-eighth inch, see here I've depicted it leaving the male end right here. And here's the female end. This this will, this length here will be one and one eighth inch, but this now this measure is now only one inch because you've removed one eighth of an inch here. So you, you remove this one eighth of an inch. So while this remains one and one eighth inch long, this now is only one and one one inch high. See? Okay. So, however, on okay, I didn't draw that. Well, I did draw that right. I have to back up here. Hold on. <laughs> we have to explain a scenario. What if we were to carve out these smiley faces and want to glue them together? Okay? We're going to glue them together. We would have to trim out on each side of the seat part of the wood. See, this, this part you're going to sit on. You want to carve it out so it ends up with a drainage. Okay, if you're going to glue it together, you only want it glued here. Here you don't want it glued together and you want spaces in between each of the smiley faces so the water can drain out. You want to do this on each side if you would like to, okay? Okay, so uh, that's considering a scenario, what if you want to glue it together, okay? But what if you don't want to glue it together? You want to... Uh, you want to go ahead and carve it out and uh, make it an interlocking feature. See, that other way is not interlocking. So it gets us to consider how we need to carve out this side of the, of the uh, piece of wood. So here we've removed one eighth of an inch here, leaving this uh, small mill end. And we leave a part of it this side of the a bath bench. We don't carve it thin at all. We just leave it like that. And then on the female end, <clears throat> so you should have drawn a little female in there. On the female end, we uh, we carve it out. Let's see, could, could I draw that with dotted lines real quick? Here's the female end right here. And with the female end, we want to carve out this side of the, the seat. So this measure here is only one inch thick. Now when you put the uh, put them together 
See, the male end of the next piece of wood will fit into this perfectly and interlock with it. So this side of the seat, you've trimmed one eighth of an inch, along with the female box here, the female end. You know, I've drawn that here. So here's the female end. See, so if we were to draw the seat, it used to be here. But once we carve this out, we the seat is now here. We've trimmed one eighth of an inch all the way along that side of the seat. This is needed to so that they can fit together snugly and perfectly. Uh, okay, on to my next video.